Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 50 of my Dire Wolf 21.18 Let's Play. Some plans in store for us today, and to start off, we're gonna finish this portal and get our leaks connected across the river <laughs> so we can take these uh, travel anchors up and make them useful somewhere else. So let's see about this. Now I have a full source jar and I need to talk about this because this is very important about how I got this full source jar. Um, but I have my warp scroll that I created and bound to uh, the spot across the river. As you can see, our Location is 471, 63, negative 148, and this is for 92, 63, negative 104. So it's a different. Uh, but I have my source jar nearby, and I have my portal created. Uh, so all I gotta do is throw this warp scroll in the portal, and it will create. <gasps> and it drained a lot of this mana. So let's do, I need to modify my shear spell because I put an AOE on it because uh, I was clearing some, clearing some stuff. So now we can come over here and get our new dad back, but I need a piece of gear. Also, check this out. Um, you can set uh slots to have a memory and then when you shift click it'll remember where it was at you just do that by coming in here and then whatever slot you click on it will remember it's like i've clicked on these because i always want these right there right where i need them and it's pretty cool so i need to get my blocks out i guess i'll I just wish I could scroll wheel out of there, but it doesn't work like that. All right. So now we can just go into the portal and arrive across the river. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Um, I have been prepared. Also, this is crazy. Um... I went to go check on my little store bunkle over here and to see how he was doing because uh, I logged off for the day yesterday and for some reason this uh, pet, these pedestals forgot my items. They just lost all my items so I had to get another milk bucket, a spider eye, and sugar. I mean it wasn't like a big deal but yeah, I did have to replace those. I mean, it wasn't huge, but it did kind of slow it down because now I've got to wait to get all my abjuration essences and stuff and things. And before I leave, I need to say one more thing. I was worried about having an enchanting setup. Like, I don't have any books or... The Batania set up, you need the pylons, and I don't have those, but I was reading in my book, <laughs> and you can enchant with the enchanting apparatus, and it has all of these enchantments that you can enchant for purely uh, source and items. So I was able to put mana boost on all my armor. I only did the tier 2 one. Uh, the tier 3 one isn't much different, uh, but I didn't want to put too much on this armor because it is going to be upgraded and, and I'm not going to retain any of the enchantments on it because it's going to be a completely new set of armor. It's not an upgrade. Uh, so I've been trying to put fire protection on it for when I go to the nether because blazes are mean. Uh, but I've got I've got 
mana boost two and fire protection one on all of and i thought about putting like feather falling on here that would be kind of cool i don't know like what else can you put holy shizoli i mean look at all these things that you can get you can get any of the enchantments it looks like uh you could even get fortune I wish I would have known that, yeah. but I wouldn't have been ready for all these essences and source gems. Now that I have a steady income of source gems and essence, I can start looking into all of these things. Uh, so yeah, that's that's really awesome. Um, like I thought about uh, this sword is pretty cool, but. It would be so much better with sharpness on it and looting and you know and i might tweak my spells on these guys because you know i i was just starting out learning about Ars magica when i was casting these and i was learning as i was doing it so oh man it's just it's so great and i have all these jars of source just lying around uh and and I do have a place, wow, well, I was getting this. I came across another thing, and I was curious about it. Uh, let's see, where would that be under source? This is the section on source, and it tells you all about the different ways you can get source and we've had this arc of agronomic source link that's the one that produces source based on crops growing around it and that works okay um i saw dire wolf do a volcanic source link on his let's play um but there was another one that caught my eye the vitalic source link and it generates a moderate amount of source from nearby mob death and animal breeding. Additionally, the Vitalic Source Link will generate passive mana from nearby baby animals and will accelerate their growth. So it only took a glycerine melon slice, a couple of gold, and a couple of source gem. And I took this and I put it down by my mob system. And now I don't have a, a zapper. I can't sap. Let's go ahead and sleep. So I put that down by the mob farm um, and I put a jar next to it and I was, wasn't really expecting anything, you know, momentous to happen, but it did. <laughs> it produces a lot, a lot of source. Um, let me show you. I, I can put these back down here. Also, something I might want to try. Um, no, I think I want it really close over here. So maybe if I put uh, this here, uh, we can name it uh, round. Okay. And then we can come down here on our iron level. They might be in range. I'm not 100% certain, but we can always try it out. And then we'll put iron level. I can spell. Okay, so let's see. Ah, oh, look at that. Yes. So I should be able to torch up here. And then torch down there. Oh, that's so good. Uh, I might be able to put one down at the old diamond level and then another one at the new diamond level uh, to sort of make our way down there. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this guy is just filling these up left and right and I really want to do some work on this and get a sorting system going um, but I have no idea I don't want to use dire wolf's um, laser IO I want to use super factory manager because 
why not? It, it looks like but uh, it reminds me of uh, crash landing, you know, good times. Steve's factory manager. I had a lot of fun with that. Now this looks like this is all that's in the mod, uh, but this should be able to do exactly what I want it to do down there. So it shouldn't be an issue at all. Um, I do want to get something that's going to help me. It's probably not, it's nothing momentous. Uh, I should have made this a long time ago. It's the... Uh, It's the Horn of the Wild from Botanian, and it's an amazing tool. It uh, doesn't take any mana or anything, but if you hold right click down, it will harvest grass. Oh, dude, it, but it harvests um, everything that's not like uh, a placed flower. Like these, it won't harvest. Uh, plants like this, won't, it won't harvest. Just like grass and, oh no, I killed my berries. Uh, really just wanted to clear away this area over here. And it shouldn't get those leaves because I placed those. So that's pretty cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> it would have taken me really long time to get those uh, all that grass broken but this did it in no time at all want to clear this out oh and it doesn't it doesn't get vines okay that's good so we have another tool in our arsenal um, put that there, and yeah, I want to sort of fill this area out with some botania stuff. Um, uh, I don't, I, I just want to move this away from here because I have plans. I want to kind of make a little pathway through here and put like a little picnic area over here. So when I have company over and we're cooking steak, uh, we have a place to sit and, and enjoy a nice meal. <laughs> Not that I'm going to have company over, but, you know, it sets the, the tone. You know what I'm saying? And I want I want a nice tone. Um, I was doing this and I was trying to figure out a good way to harvest these guys and it's like the mining laser will just mine and it will pick up the flowers too and the hammer the hammer works good but you got to hit it twice in order to harvest everything so I was using uh, my exchanging gadget but the, like I can't harvest these now until I get more stone <laughs> to replace it so it's it's good but you gotta keep keep it going. Uh, so yeah, let's go empty all of these seeds out and check this out. This is so super fast. Look at all this. Do with faster than I can put it in. Um, I wanted some more stone so that I could sort of maybe build a semi torn down structure not really torn down but more of a natural open structure of some sort i don't know exactly what i'm thinking about but it'll be great um this is all good but <laughs> this is things these are things that i can do you know off camera for aesthetic purposes and stuff um but I do have another plan today of something that I want to do uh, to help us progress and get items and stuff to with and have fun. 
so I've gotten a few things ready. Y'all. In the factory. And I did a little bit of rearranging. Uh, I got some more crafting tables down here for crafting stations. Uh, because going up there, uh, when all my stuff is down here, uh, this was a little bit awkward. And I kind of moved these over. And, yeah. So let's go have a look. Ah, okay, so what we have here are the pieces for... Uh, our multi servo press that's another thing I wanted to make so that we could make the auxiliary processing seed and uh, yeah, these flux, these electron plates for the flux linkage amplifier also take some plates that need the multi servo press. So that is really good. So we're going to go ahead and make that so we can start upgrading our machines even further. Awesome. And this is the shape card we need for our builder. So we can take this multi servo press off. I can take the conjuration essence off because I got that fixed. Um, let's see, let's make our shape card. And we need to put the shape card in here, I believe. Nope. In here, I believe. To make the shape card quarry, which takes a diamond pick, diamond shovel, some redstone, and a couple of iron. It's no, no big deal. And then you put the shape card quarry in here with an emerald, a gas tier, a diamond, a redstone, some dimensional shards to get a fortune quarry. And now, fortunately, we had a gas tier that I got from killing a gas early, early on. Uh, so that gives us our shape card fortune for you. And this is the builder. The builder is a good thing. So we can get this and this gone. Oh, I, don't, I don't even know where I would want to set this thing up. But I do have a battery already ready for it. So that's good. Put this guy here. And... Uh, make use of this to get our plates for our upgrades. This all. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put these now that i got an extra machine, though. So I was planning on those last two, though. I guess I could kind of wrap it around over here, I guess. Get the mine. Maybe put another uh, energy pipe over here. Let's see, we should be able to just access our charging station like that, and everything will be fine. And then we can still have those other two right there. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm trying to think, like, where, where would I want to set this up? It would need to be chunk loaded, but I don't want it, like, in my backyard. Like, I don't want it anywhere over here where I'm going to be tripping and falling into stuff. <sighs> I haven't actually used the builder as a reason. Oh, I did, but it was in, like, the end. And I think it replaces everything dirt, so that would be okay. But I don't know, do I have to supply it with dirt? Um, I just haven't worked with it enough to remember. So maybe we'll just go over here to the west, or maybe east and set it up somewhere over here. Oh, we will need 
something I completely <laughs> forgot until just now. We'll need a way to get the items from the quarry. Uh, so we'll need to put a chest on top of it. And the best chest to put on there, it's going to be an ender chest. Chest. All right, I think, yeah, this looks like it's got code zero, 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 four, oh, what is this, an ender pouch, this is new, leather, okay, this isn't anything we can't get, so we're going to need eight blaze rods, six obsidian rods. Enough. Eight blaze rods. Six obsidian. Two wool. I'm gonna have to go shear those sheep to get some more wool because I keep using it for elevators. Finally got all enough to put all the elevators in the wizard tower. Okay, so we're gonna need a couple of eye of enders and leather. I need a couple of you. So let's make that. Uh, your pouch. Oh, I love the ender pouch. I remember because then you can carry that around with you and open it from your hot bar and have access to your ender chest Port portably. Portably. Um, oh yeah, it doesn't like it because those don't stack. Oh yeah. So, I'm trying to think, you know, how big is this ender chest? It's, I guess it doesn't really need to be big now that uh, we got a really super duper Oh, dude, it's only got nine slots. Um, what I might do is keep this guy here. Real quick fix. <laughs> Don't have do I have a chest? I do have a chest. I have some iron. And so we can just go and then put chest right up there. And it should, I'm not sure if that will work. I haven't used this inner chest before. Um, I'm hoping it works. Okay, I do know from experience that we're gonna need a lever for this guy. So I got some sticks. There we go. Got a lever. Got the builder. Inner chest. I think that's all we need. I think we just need a place to... Oh! Food. We need the bat. Okay, so... Um, get, get our crescent hammer. We can just take this little guy. And now we have power for it. Um, I'm not exactly sure how long that's going to last. <laughs> but... Uh, hopefully it will be a good while. It's got two million Arda. Um, I should possibly take a boat. Um, I do want to buy, like the... Something blew up over here. Uh, there must have been like a battle over here with this guy and it must have had a creeper explosion because 
This is like pretty extensive. Uh, I'll fix that off camera, I guess. That's, that's weird. Never didn't don't remember the explosion that came over here. Uh, yikes. All right, let's go. Off on an adventure. Um, you know, if there's enough time, there isn't. <laughs> I was going to say we could go check out that cave spider thing, but yeah, we're going to be able to get over here and set this guy up, and then it'll be time to end the episode. Um. Oh, yeah. I'm so sad about those those trees, like the leaves, when I tried to shear them, all I got were dark oak leaves. They weren't like a different kind of leaves. Uh-oh. I'm supposed to... Okay. How am I supposed to break my boat? I touched the butt. <laughs> um... Yeah, let's just go, like, right over here, I guess. Sweet. Wink. Ow, ow, ow. Eat. Oh, there's so much underbrush. Overbrush? Brush? All right. This should be a good spot. Set the builder. Um, what we might want to do is actually, what is it? Me? Yeah, we might want to position him right at the corner these so that and get all of these in a chunk load like just boop, 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 boop. okay and then uh, hopefully it will pour those out uh, I guess if I make it a 16 block radius I guess that's how that would work Let's um put you on top. Uh, need a lever and the car. Three. Uh, click to open the car. So we want a solid box. Dimensions sixteen. I, I'm assuming this is the Y. Uh, so, void. I don't want to void. Uh, oh, if you click on them, I guess it selects them. Hmm. Okay. Um, offset. I don't think we need an offset. But... The dimensions. I wonder if I have to make this a negative number. Or if I don't know how the logic would work for that. So I mean what we're on Y level 77 and it goes 64 negative. So if we just say 80 and 60 that's 140 so should i put 140 or should i put i don't know so <laughs> let's see oh no let's see if we can get this thing going okay we got box build 40 current level the builder is at Press to restart. On to activate. Okay, all we gotta do is flip switch. Okay. 
and it should start. Not, I don't, not enough power. Uh, um, there we go. Uh, I probably need to configure it to put out. Oh boy. It's harvesting the dirt and putting in the dirt. Oh, now it's working on some stone. Wow, it's going really fast. It's already used 300,000 FB. Uh oh. Get some of this stuff out. Yeah, it's getting sucked in. It it might be better to use a node so I can put some card upgrades to pull this out faster. Um, because it is definitely filling up. Oh, look, it just hit some copper. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to go ahead and call the episode here. I'm probably, after this, I will go back and swap out the hopper for a node and put an extraction card in it with some upgrades to where it will just pull this out super duper fast. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, this was a good, a good day. We got stuff done. Look at that. We're already out of power. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we can go ahead and put this stuff in there. Awesome. Okay, another thing, let's turn this off, is that I forget, I keep forgetting that this has the Feed the Beast stuff in it. Uh, and you can, Oh, this is just settings. Um, I think in, in some of them, they had like a little, tell, they used to have like a little helper thing. It would tell you about certain features. Feed the beast, I guess that's something that take you back, little buddy. I don't know if I should break it with that. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but there's a way to set your home. Oh, boy. There's some um, raiding party over there. Not that I don't can't kill them. It's just I don't have time right now. I got stuff to do. It's it, oh, oh, it, stupid berries. So yeah, we got that marked on our map, where the point is, so we won't forget. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!